All right, all right, all right. Greetings, and welcome to Free Grant Money Bullshit, Episode 1. If you know me, or if you've read anything I've posted online, you know I absolutely hate the term free grant money. It's a tired old phrase used by scam artists to sucker good money from good people in exchange for absolutely worthless information. So what I want to do in this episode and in future episodes is highlight some of the websites using this term and hopefully steer people clear of being ripped off. So let's get started. The sites we're looking at today are grantshost.com and bizmove.com slash government hyphen grants, etc., etc. And both sites were accessed on October 20th, 2017. Here's some background information on the sites. A simple Whois search at Network Solutions or GoDaddy reveals when and where domains are registered. Let's start with grantshost.com. I'm not going to look at every page on the site. I just want to point out the red flags. The key is to look for anything that makes a site or the information appear outdated, amateurish, or evasive. So what stands out on this page? Well, first, the old-timey image of Uncle Sam and the cheesy money bag clip art. Uh, next, the, the phrase, learn how to get your share. The implication being there's a, a big warehouse of money just waiting for you to back the truck up and haul off your loot. And finally, the American flag wallpaper background. You know, wallpaper like this went out of style on websites in on the late 90s. So if they can't keep their site design fresh, you know whatever information they're selling will be equally stale. Scrolling down the page, we find a few more tip-offs. First, payments are processed with PayPal. And while this is still okay for eBay and similar auction sites, uh, for other online purchases, consumers today prefer a more formal or sophisticated shopping cart experience. Next, the, the offer of $200 worth of information for the low, low price of $19.99 now, I'm not sure how you put a value on public information that can be obtained elsewhere for free. Uh, and furthermore, you don't even know what they're providing you. You know, this isn't like Amazon, where you can read a couple chapters to decide if you like a book. You know, this site asks for 20 bucks on blind faith. And good luck getting a refund when you discover their information is total crap. And finally, <laughs> the, the limited time offer. Uh, tries to establish a sense of urgency so people will quickly hand over their money, you know, that's nonsense. I mean, this site's been around since 2004. So that limited time offer is a permanent ploy. Now on the About Us page, we notice scant information on what makes them so knowledgeable about federal grants, just a lot of vague details and exaggerated claims, and no contact information, no phone number, no location, just an old webmaster email address that modern websites don't use anymore. The other site is slightly different in its approach, but still has several red flags. First, the numerous ads throughout the site that mislead people into clicking them and raising money for the site owner. You know, they blend in so well, you might not even notice them if you're just quickly scanning the page. And, and several actually look like they're related to the site, but clicking them will take you to other sites of dubious quality and intentions. Next, the misspelled words and awkward phrases are always concerning. So, like, federal gov giveaways is given away. You know, what the hell does that even mean? And, and finally, the ridiculous opening line, <laughs> Dear Cash Seeker, enough said. Further down the page, we find more ad links and incredible testimonials. I never knew so much money was available.
And bonus offers are always amusing. You know, in addition to the free grant money, this site claims it can you know, help you become an internet millionaire. Awesome. And of course, just like grantshost.com, few to no company details and no contact information. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Something I noticed after studying these sites is they both use nearly identical language in their pitches. And I can't tell if it's one person using two identities or if it's or if one site owner plagiarized the other person's scam. You know, that might be worth doing some further research on later, but you know, what I'll do is I'll scroll through several examples so you can see for yourself. And I'm not going to I'm not going to talk through them. You don't need me to point out the obvious. I just want you to see what I saw. And then I'll come back at the end to wrap things up. Okay, I'm back. And if I scroll through any of those slides too quickly, excuse me, too quickly, just go ahead and feel free to um, you know rewind the the video and pause it when you need to. So one final thought: even if the government gave away all of this free money, you really wouldn't want it. You know, all government funding comes with lots of strings attached. Uncle Sam doesn't just write checks to to people and then walk away. If, if they were going to give out this type of quote unquote free money, you would you'd have to manage it and it would be, it would be a nightmare. So you just, you don't want to, you don't want to get in that business. Anyway, free government money is a myth. And that's all I've got to say about that. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through my website or on social media. Also, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future, excuse me, future presentations with plenty of word screw-ups just like that. All right. <laughs> Adios.